Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to look at the profitability, hash rates, and overclocks of this RX 580 8GB Ethereum mining rig. So let me get the lid back on here, quiet this down just a little bit. So this is the rig that Crypto Caverns sent over to me. Check them out, CryptoCaverns.com. I'll leave links down in the description. They do rigs like this that you can host if you want to check out if that works for your situation. So I did a video, a previous video on this, uh, which I'll link up in the card if you haven't checked it out. But in that video, I didn't get this rig fully dialed in yet as far as its overclocks. There's just like a lot of learning I had to do because I've never had RX 580 GPUs before, Polaris GPUs. So I had to do some learning, uh, learn how to overclock them and BIOS mod and like all that stuff. And I think I got them in a really good place. But you guys can also let me know any recommendations you have after the video down in the comments section below. So let's switch over to the miner and I'll show you what I've come up with. Look at some power at the wall, look at some profitability, current cost of these GPUs and go from there. Taking a look at the miner here, you can see the performance I'm getting on these GPUs. Just about 31 mega hash on every one, if not just a little bit over. And we'll talk through that in a second here, but using Team Red Miner, of course, with these RX 580s. So let's take a look over in HiveOS and I'll talk through where I've landed. Because at the end of the last video, I was still doing a lot of learning about this mining rig about RX 580 because I've never owned them before. And actually, one of the things I had to learn about was the bio switch on them. And that was why they were only doing like 26 mega hash. I had to flip that switch. And then I was able to get over 30 mega hash easy with even the stock clocks. But what I've landed on for overclocks, I'll walk you through here. Every card, for the most part, is running just about the same except one. And I'll talk about that in a second. So the core clock is down to 1150, core state I have at one, core voltage all the way down to 825, uh, which has reduced the amount of wattage that these GPUs are using, and they've been really stable without issue. The memory clock I have at 2090. If I push it any further, it negatively impacted the hash rates of these GPUs. It actually went down. And I've seen some people running higher. It's, I think it's probably because I'm running that core voltage so low. And the other thing I had to learn... It's about this AMD memory tweak, which I have set to 20, which is what you need for Samsung GPUs, which is what these are. Every single card here, this, these XFXs all have Samsung memory in them. So that's why I had to use that. There's one card, this was mining for like a week, and there's one card that started giving me invalid shares, which is GPU 3 here. So I had to dial back the memory a little bit down to 280. Uh, and that is where it has settled out, and it's doing really well there. So overall, this rig right now is giving me 248.6 mega hash. And one thing I want you to pay attention to is it's saying I'm only using 690 watts total, which is just the calculation, the addition of all of the wattage reported here in Hive OS, which is a completely inaccurate for AMD GPUs. So what I do have is a measurement of how we're doing at the wall here. So you can see on the meter box meter, I am currently pulling this whole rig is pulling 1,020 watts at the wall. Let's see if I get that to focus. Yeah, good enough. 1,020 watts at the wall. So that's what I'm going to use to do some calculations here in a second. So switching back over, we're going to head over to what's a mine, and you're going to I'm going to calculate that. I have 248. 0.7 mega hash entered in there, update the wattage at the wall to 1,020. And just looking at average profitability over 24 hours, 10 cent electric rate, this rig is making over $15 a day in profit mining Ethereum, which is just still incredible to me considering how old these GPUs are, which is amazing. And I was just like, what are these even going for right now? If you wanted to buy one on eBay and you can check out here, recently sold listings, $435, $580, $400, $460. Parts only. A broken GPU is still selling for $200, $500, $480, $400, $400. It's just wild to see these GPUs at one point a few years ago were going for only a little over $100. And just the state of everything has brought up 
the market of these graphics cards to where you see them on your screen here. Checking back in with the miner one last time. You can see how we're doing, looking really good, really stable, getting 31 mega hash on each GPU. Now, if you guys have any recommendations for me, please let me know. I'm really chasing efficiency. That is what I always go for, especially with some of these older cards that are pretty power hungry, these Polaris cards, uh, compared to a lot of the newer cards, right, are really, really, really efficient. As far as the experiences so far with the server style case, I really shared in that last video that I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, and that is still absolutely true. The one thing that we should take a look at is the temperatures of these GPUs are just exceptional in this case. So heading over here, you can see we're in the low 50s to high 40s. I have the uh, fans on the GPUs rocking at 100%, probably unnecessary. I just put them there just to see how low it could get the temperatures. And the fans are blowing out this way, exhausting all the hot air. And I still am curious about testing, switching those fans around and getting them blowing through the cards to see if that helps even more. But it's like it feels unnecessary because of how good the temperatures are. And just to put that in perspective, in the basement right here right now is almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm still able to achieve such tremendous temperatures on these GPUs just because of this style of rig. So I'm still absolutely in love with this mining rig. The server style case, though it's a little loud, you probably can't hear it because I got noise suppression on. It's a little loud. It's not as bad as I would have expected. And that's just all because of the huge power supply it has in it. And obviously these fans that are pulling out all the hot air, just doing a tremendous job at that. But I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Are you mining with RX 580s? How long have you had them for? And based on the overclocks that you've seen me using, do you have any recommendations, especially in terms of maybe reducing the wattage a little bit more at the wall? Please let me know down in the comment section below. I know they're older GPUs, right? They're Polaris cards. They're not as efficient or even close as efficient as a lot of the new generation cards that are out right now. But it's really cool to see that these still can crush it on Ethereum and bring that kind of profitability it's awesome. It's just awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Please check out CryptoCaverns.com. And thank you again for them sending this out to me. Join my Discord if you want to chat at all. Link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I will see you in the next video.